Oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. Hello there. And thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham. And our scripture for today comes from Psalms 3, verse 3 to 4. And it says, But you, O Lord, are, my, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill, Selah. But you, I repeat, you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill, Selah. Now, I want to divide the scripture into two parts. The first part says, But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. Now, what do we understand by, But you, O Lord, are a shield for me. What do we understand by God being a shield for us, for you and for me. Here, the psalmist referred to God as a shield. That means God is his protector. God is the one that takes any fiery darts for him. God is his protector. God is his guide. God is the one that leads him. God is the one that covers him spiritually, physically. For God to be your shield. What now what is representative of a shield? A shield is that metal which is made in form of um, a big um, let's say plate. A shield is used to cover one during at times of war. It's, it covers you against any any bomb, any bullets, any any fairy um, arrows or anything. That the enemy throws at you or a sword a shield blocks you from getting harm a, a shield prevents you so also god is our shield so also god is our shield in all our endeavors god is our shield and our protector god is our guide god is the one that looks after us god is the one that shields us god is the one that covers us god is the one that protects us god is the one that 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 helps and protect us from all the fair fiery that of the enemy all the the um, spiritual bullets all the spiritual um, um, weapons which are fired or are sent to us then he has said my glory and the one who lifts up my head so God is my glory what does it what does it mean for God to be our glory? God is the one that promotes. God is the one that that um, gives us our promotion. God is the one that gives us our upliftment. God is the one that gives us our elevation. God is the one that takes us from one level to another. He says, My glory and the one who lifts up my so here the psalmist is very dependent on God as his glory. The psalmist dwells on God as the one. Who will lift him up? The psalmist looks up to God as the one who will project his image, as the one who will take him from one level to another, as the one who will carry him to the apex of his endeavor, to the apex of his career. God was the one that made David the king of Judah, and God was the one that also made David, David, the king of the old of all of Israel, of all of the twelve tribes of Israel. My glory and the one who lifts me lifts up my head. And lifting up your head means taking you up in every way possible. Lifting your head above water. Lifting your head above your pairs. Lifting, being, being the first, being the first in the community. Collecting certificates. Collecting um, a promotion. Collecting honor, achievement. So God is the one who lifts his head up and lifts my head up and lifts your head up then the second bit said i cried to the lord with my voice and he heard me from his holy hill i repeat i cried to the lord with my voice and he heard me from his holy hill so god 
heard the psalmist. God heard King David from the holy hill after he cried with his voice. That is cried with his voice, crying earnestly, crying from inside. That is that is placing your burden upon God, placing your problems upon the person of God. Say so he cried from inside with his voice. And God heard him. So it wasn't an internal cry. It wasn't a silent cry. It was a cry which God heard. It was a cry which was was verbal, which was vocal. That is, uh, the, uh, there was there was tears rolling down his eyes, and he was making a noise of one that was crying to God. So he cried with his voice to God, and God heard from his holy hill. God heard from his holy hill because God lives on a holy mountain of which his foundation was on holy mountains. So God lives on holy mountains and God heard his cry. And when God heard his cry, God listened to King David. Then Sila is a musical connotation, a musical gesture which the Bible speaks about in Psalms and some of Habakkuk. Now, I want to pray that God is able to expand our hearts and our minds on the scripture, on the word, that we may be able to take in more in, in the cause of meditation. And as we, we meditate, we're able to assimilate. And as we assimilate, we're able to understand and comprehend what this word speaks about, that God gives us deeper understanding of him because the word of god is god and the word of god is infinite and therefore god is infinite so may god continue to give us more revelations on this word that we may be able to put into our practical and our everyday living all these are asked through jesus christ our lord i thank you so much for listening and god bless god bless also for your comments and for your for, for your comments and for any form of, of questions, you can email me at thetubeministry at gmail.com. Also, if you are blessed with this uh, message and you want to bless the ministry, the details, the bank account details are beneath. Thank you so much for listening and God bless in Jesus' name.